You know, I find it interesting that so many so-called New Age experts have degrees, sure, and yet they don't really count for anything. At least not in that context. So even if they have genuine degrees, they still don't count for too much. Now, Doreen Virtue, PhD, she puts that on her books a lot, you know, Doreen Virtue, PhD. She sells massive amounts of books and angel cards and lectures every year. She does all sorts of things. She has all sorts of products. And you know what? Good for her, in a way. However, we have to remember that her PhD doesn't count for anything in regard to angels. She has a PhD in psychology. Fair enough. So why isn't she doing psychology? Well, in a way she is. The fact that she's pushing a kind of psychological view of angels and psychotherapy with angels says a lot. Now her expertise with psychotherapy included rehab clinics. She did a lot of stuff as like an assistant and she got a few unaccredited um, degrees. That's to say one's not recognised by the uh, major psycho uh, psychology organisations in the United States. But she eventually got her PhD as well. But when she was doing rehab clinics, she was basically working on giving people a kind of, well, faith-based view to get themselves off alcohol, drugs and other addictions. She got her PhD, I think it was in 1996, and she's written several books on psychology. I don't think you'll see those in bookstores though. Not exactly big sellers. And she started writing books on angels. And her angel books took off. That is her career. Good for her, as I say. But understand, it's not about the truth claims of angels, her actual work. It's to do with the psychological benefit of believing in things which might as well be completely false. So very much like with 12 Step, where you're basically believing in stuff which might as well not be the case, including your own inadequacies and accepting the inadequacies, sure, but then like saying, believe in some kind of higher power or some kind of assistant, like an angel. That's pretty much bullshit, really. There are probably more healthy ways of looking at it, I'm sure. But she comes from that kind of view and then she pushes that kind of view into mainstream society. Or at least mainstream for New Age and the spiritual movement. And basically it does come down to psychological techniques, psychotherapy involving angels. You deal with your shit by believing there's an archangel looking after you. Having health problems, why not think about this angel? Feel insecure, think about this angel. You know, it's kind of pathetic. She talks also about um, star children, indigo child stuff as well. She has all these angel cards, which are simply more of the, you know, psychological game playing. It just comes down in, in the end. The main reason she's done so well is because of her background in psychology. It has nothing to do with actual angels or actual angel uh, methods or beliefs. It's got, it's got nothing to do with the idea that they actually exist, really, other than your psychosomatic response to the idea that they do, or the placebo that they do. You've got an angel with you, communicate with them and they'll help you. I feel better already. Does he look like a bitch?